folks, blues boy Jag, another sort of box guitar. I have sold a lot of these. Quest Array. It's a really cool box, and uh, I like how that artwork just just jumps out at you. Leaves plenty of room for a humbucker pickup there, so you don't obscure the artwork. one of the smaller cigar box guitars that I make. This is an acoustic electric. There's your sound hole, contrary to popular belief. I've said this, oh, I don't know how many times over the past 12 years. You don't need a big honking sound hole because it's a small box. The bigger the box, the bigger the sound hole, long story short. 22 and a half inch scale, Stratocaster, four spring, tuned to A. For the first, for the first string, you can use any brand, any size strings. I am using the fifth, fourth, third, and second string on this one. You can use six, five, four, three if you want to. Uh, the sky's the limit, as they say. Now, if you tune it different, you probably need some lighter gauge strings. If you tune it, tune it lower. There's a million, kajillion, kajillion, zillion times a zillion times a kajillion times a zillion ways to tune these. If you use, the bottom line is if you tune to uh, low D or low E, you're going to need some extra light strings because the tension will be too much. Uh, if you use your 6543 strings, same deal. I would use .09s or .8s if you can find them. Uh, local music stores should have them. If not, you can find them online. Uh, some of the mom and pop music stores may not have the .08s. That's for the first string. All you gotta do is look at the gauge of the first string of a six string electric guitar set. And that's what I go by. So I use the .09s because I get them in bulk from China. Now if you want to tune this to a G, this is currently tuned to A, so it's A, E, A, C sharp. If you wanted to tune it to a G, you would use the same strings, 5, 4, 3, 2, but, 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 you need to use heavier gauge strings. These are .09s. I would recommend a .10 for the first string of a regular electric guitar set, even though you're not putting the first string on the CBG. I would recommend .10s to tune this to a G. That way it'd be an A string tuned down to a G, a D string tuned to a D, G string tuned to a G, B string tuned to a B. Only string you're changing is the fifth string. You're not tuning it to an A like you normally would. You're tuning it down to a G. So you have G, D, G, B. That's for open G tuning. This is currently an open A tuning. Why? Because I get my string .09s in bulk from China, and I don't want to have to have you know 48,000 different gauges of strings in stock. So I ship everything with the .09s tuned to A. If you'd like to tune them to G, get .10s tuned them down to G. That's the long story short. Obviously, humbucker pickup, one volume. I don't put tones on these most of the time, unless customer wants them. Um, these are what I consider a hot rod guitar, and most people don't really use their tone control. Um, some people do. Some people swear by them. Um, I use them a little bit, maybe half a song per gig. But that's just me, that's my setup, that's my electric guitar, blah 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 blah
in check by those screws. They do stay in tune. They do stay in tune. They do stay in tune. I've had some people email me and they're like, oh, oh, that's kind of janky. You just uh, wrapped around bold? What? Huh? Been doing it for 12 years. Works great. They do stay in tune. You have to tighten them, tune them, tighten them, tune them, tighten them, tune them, two or three, four times. Stretch the strings, tighten them again, stretch them, tighten them again, stretch them, tune them, stretch them, tune them. And once you get it all set up, they will stay in tune. I've been using these for 10 years in my live performance, actually 12 years in my live performances, and they do stay in tune. I have a six stringer, and uh, as you can imagine, it's got a regular, uh, regular Fender style neck. And I got six strings down here, so that's a lot more tension than four. Perfectly in tune. Perfectly in tune. Stays in tune. As long as you do your due diligence stretching those strings, they will stay in tune. So, uh, this is an acoustic electric. Oops, sound falls up here. So, uh, these are what I call living room volume acoustic. Mm, not so sure you might want to play a gig acoustically with these might be able to get away with it put a mic up there a little iffy sometimes on the smaller boxes this is a pretty skinny pretty small box it's probably six inches by eight maybe so that's a ukulele sized body so you're not going to get a heck of a lot of volume acoustically out of these and what i tell people it's living room volume so you can hang out and watch the news with your wife sitting next to you as you're strumming your cbg and everybody will be happy once again thanks for Thanks for your kind support, and we will see you next time.